Welcome to the future unveiled, a glimpse of 2030. In this video, we'll take you on a journey through the most exciting and innovative projects that will shape our world in the next decade. From the towering city in the sky concept to floating oceanic city to the smart and connected woven city. We'll explore how these groundbreaking designs will change the way we live. We'll also travel to the Philippines' Millennium City, Saudi Arabia's Neom City, China's Net City. Now, let's move on to an exciting new concept in urban design city in the sky concept. The concept of a megacity, with a population exceeding 10 million people, has always been a popular theme in science fiction literature. However, to truly do justice to such an idea, it requires a visual medium that can bring it to life. Architect Svetin Tashkov is one such visionary, who pushes the limits of his imagination and explores new ideas and features beyond the confines of the sky. Recently, Svetin unveiled a challenging concept for a futuristic city that promises a sustainable tomorrow. The lotus-inspired city, suspended high above the ground, presents an awe-inspiring image of a frictionless, super shiny, and super clean metropolis. This city in the sky incorporates live, work, shopping, entertainment, and educational spaces, all seamlessly integrated into the layers of this futuristic urban design. The cultural life of this self-contained city is focused internally, yet the structural forms of the rising lotus flower stalks, which encircle the city, offer views out to the surrounding area. At the top, the lotus leaves expand over the urban chaos providing a tranquil oasis above the polluted cityscape. The city in the sky is a captivating and visionary concept that gives us a glimpse of what the future of sustainable urban design might look like. Alright, now it's time to shift our focus to another groundbreaking urban design concept Oceanic City. The architecture firm Big, led by founder Jark Ingalls, has revealed their latest concept, the Oceanic City, a system of floating villages designed to withstand hurricanes and rising sea levels. The innovative concept consists of buoyant hexagonal modules clustered together in groups of six to form villages, with each module being built on land and then towed to sea, where they would be anchored in place. These clusters would then be repeated to form larger communities of up to 10,000 residents. Ingalls said, We've based it on this modular idea of a hexagonal island. It has the omnidirection of a circle but it has the modularity and rationality of something man-made. The miniature islands will feature low-rise buildings to maintain a low center of gravity, with a height ranging from four to seven stories. The structures will taper out towards the top to provide shading and extra roof space for solar panels. The Oceanic City concept aims to provide a sustainable, offshore living environment that can adapt to rising sea levels a phenomenon expected to affect 90% of the world's coastal cities by 2050. In addition, the hexagonal islands will feature 3,000 square meters of outdoor agriculture that can be enjoyed as free space. The entire system is designed to be resilient enough to withstand a Category 5 hurricane. According to Ingalls, the oceanic city is simply another form of human habitat that can be a seed that essentially can grow with its success as it turns out to be socially and environmentally desirable to choose this lifestyle. The Oceanic City represents a novel solution to the challenges posed by climate change, offering a sustainable and innovative way of life for those who choose to live in this unique floating community. Now that we've explored the incredible Oceanic City, it's time to dive into another awe-inspiring urban design idea woven city. Toyota is undertaking an ambitious project to build a new city at the base of Mount Fuji, called Woven City with the goal of testing and developing future technologies in a real-world environment. It will initially house around 360 residents, mainly senior citizens and families, with plans to eventually increase the population to 2,000, including Toyota employees and researchers. The city will be powered by hydrogen fuel cells and feature many buildings made of wood using ancient Japanese woodworking techniques, but executed by industrial robots. Solar panels on the roofs will power everyday needs, and vegetation will be closely integrated into the buildings and surroundings, maintained by inbuilt watering systems. With embedded sensors and high-speed connectivity, Woven City will be a living laboratory, providing a unique opportunity to develop future technologies, including a digital operating system for the city's infrastructure. Building a complete city from the ground up, even on a small scale like this, is a unique opportunity to develop future technologies, said Akio Toyota president of Toyota Motor Corporation. Let's take a break from the clouds and turn our attention to the future of sustainable city living with Millennium City Philippines. Millennium City in the Philippines is a future city that is powered by waste-to-energy technology. The city consists of two major projects, 
the urban development of Millennium City in a waste energy facility located in Barangay Balayan, Barangas. The city covers a total land area of 44,000 SQM and is fragmented into 14 land use and 11 districts, featuring numerous structures inspired by metamodern and neo-futurist architecture. It is located roughly 70 kilometers outside the capital city of Manila and is envisioned to form the Philippines' model city of the future, one entirely powered by waste materials. At the core of Millennium City's planning and design approach are the principles of inclusivity, futurism, resilience, and sustainability. The city is powered by its very own waste energy facility, the first of its kind in the history of solid waste management. It features a fully automated system with three core processes of waste regeneration, sorting, transporting, and storing. It's interesting to see how Millennium City in the Philippines is utilizing various sources of energy to power its sustainable living model. Along with waste energy technology, the city also has a wastewater treatment facility and solar wind hybrid alternative energy harvesters. This approach ensures that all possible energy resources are utilized to their full potential and promotes a self-sustaining living environment. Additionally, the city aims to connect with the country's past by being culturally rooted in its history and traditions while looking towards a futuristic development path. Get ready to explore another or inspiring urban design concept the Niam City Trojina Project. This visionary project is set to transform the cityscape in unprecedented ways. Saudi Arabia is set to welcome a new winter wonderland that promises to be a game-changer in mountain tourism. Trojina, the GCC's first outdoor ski resort with a man-made lake will be part of the $500 billion NEOM project. This year-round tourist spot is designed to offer unique wintry experiences that are not commonly found in the Gulf region's desert climates. Trojina boasts luxury wellness and family-friendly resorts, including the Bao Hotel, and slope residences that promise the ultimate in comfort and luxury. But it's not just about skiing and snowboarding. Morgan's original hotel, which features a 2,000-meter spa and bathhouse, a ski slope roof, and microclimates, and 25 hours Trojina by Neom, inspired by sci-fi movies, will offer their unique features, making it a go-to spot for locals and tourists alike. Trojina will be located in the center of Neom, which boasts some of Saudi Arabia's highest peaks at approximately 2,600 meters above sea level. With an average temperature of about 10 degrees Celsius cooler than other Saudi Arabian cities, and temperatures dropping below zero degrees in the winter, this is the ideal spot for winter sports and activities. As with the larger NEOM project, Trojina construction is in line with Saudi Arabia's Vision 2030 goals. The new tourism site will combine environmental sustainability with economic and community development, generating 10,000 jobs and SAR 3 billion for the kingdom by 2030. Neom's Trojina is set to be the new global destination for mountain tourism, bringing unique wintry experiences to the region and supporting the kingdom's long-term goals. Net City China. Tencent, the technology giant behind WeChat and China's popular QQ messaging service, has announced plans for a revolutionary new development in the Chinese city of Shenzhen. The Net City project will span a staggering 2 million square meters and will be almost entirely car free, with an emphasis on green spaces, pedestrian areas, and self driving vehicles. The ambitious city within a city will be built on reclaimed land in the Pearl River estuary and will accommodate some 80,000 people, primarily Tencent employees. However, the development will also feature shops, schools, and other public amenities, and will be connected to the rest of Shenzhen via road bridges, ferries, and the subway system. Designed by American firm NBBJ, the Net City project differs from the enclosed campuses of big tech companies in recent years. Instead, the master plan includes entertainment venues, parks, and a waterside promenade that will attract visitors from across the city. The plan also focuses on minimizing the impact of cars as much as possible, with a green corridor, designed for buses, bikes, and autonomous vehicles. NBBJ's master plan is designed to create an interconnected, human-focused organic ecosystem, eroding the distinction between work and private life for Tencent employees. The Net City project is set to take around seven years to complete, with construction expected to start later this year. Dozens of individual buildings, ranging from 1 to 30 floors in height, will be designed by a variety of different architecture firms. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel Build Bright, hit the like button, and share this video with your circle to support our work in bringing you insightful content about the future of urban development.